Hello gamers, Christian Gamer Jolie. Welcome back to Game Testing. We're going to play Snow White Solitaire. And I'd like to thank the developers Digimite for a free copy to test with you guys. So let's go ahead and get right into the game. Here we go. Alright, this is the first time I'm playing, so I really haven't I haven't messed with it at all. So we'll find out together what it's all about. So let's go select the first level. Uh, obviously, it's Solitaire. I, I'm a big fan of Solitaire. I like Solitaire. I like different versions of Solitaire, so here we go. Welcome to our kingdom. After I married the prince, my mother in law, and the evil queen, was banished. We haven't heard anything from her until now. While picking apples in a nearby forest, I noticed that the terrible storm was brewing in our kingdom. When I got back, I saw the entire kingdom had been plunged into an entire slumber. Alright, sorry about that. I was just moving the camera for us. Alright, there we go. It's loading. So let's go ahead and go into the game here. And this is just a little fun little game that we're going to be doing. Um, we'll test it out here. Alright, find all the cards left. Um, okay. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, oh, I gotta find all the cards that are hidden. So there's like a hidden puzzle piece. I got it. Okay. So before we can play, I gotta find all the cards. Got it. Okay. There's a four up there. Sometimes it drives me nuts. because sometimes it's just a matter of seeing it at different angles, so. Alright, there's five. Alright, I got two cards left. There's one down there, there's the ace, there's one more card which is over there. Okay. Alright, so there you go. So wait, you did a great job. We Now we need to start collecting the solitaire layouts. Alright, so let's go ahead and do that. Alright. Welcome to the Sh Charm Kingdom. You can remove a card from the board and place it on the top of the card next to the deck if it's higher or lower than, it's, than the other. Alright, we can handle that. If there are no available moves or on the board, press on the deck next to the face-up card to find the card you need in the deck. Okay, if you are unhappy with your move or you want to check a card from the deck in order to plan for your next move, place on the cancel icon in the bottom right part of the screen. This is a wild card. It can replace a card in the deck at the time, depending on the value indicated on it. Use it like a regular card. Okay, we can handle that. Alright, so six. Uh, we have to go higher or lower, so we'll go with seven. Again, we can go, obviously, at eight. Um, there's nothing there we can use, so let's go ahead and get our next card. A queen, and the king, and an ace. So the key here, at least for what I always find, is try to find the most cards that are going to do the best points. So, like, for instance, I could do a queen, queen, or queen, king, queen, jack. Or I could do a queen king ace two, and there's a three and there's a two. So you got to think on what strategy, and then there's an ace. So you got to think on the strategy of which is going to be more important. Of course, then again, you don't know what's in your deck, so you might be able to play other cards later on that you wouldn't be able to play because you use them. So it's all a lot of strategy and a little. It's actually a little bit of strategy and a lot of luck. But let's go ahead and go into it and let's see what we can do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go queen. I'm going to go the version of the ace two. Um, so, now let's see, now I gotta think about Queen Jack, Queen, that would give me three cards, where this would give me one, Ace, two, three, t it's about the same, really. Two, three, two. Okay, so that, that, it, that's all we can do on that, so let's draw another card, King. Alright, so now you see you guys' strategy here. You definitely want to get that Ace open, it's a wild card, too. So, we're going to take that one. Now, you wouldn't open take this one right here, this queen up here, because you want to take the queen down here because this opens up more cards available. So, it's a better strategy. Now, let's try to use a wild. It will open it up. And then we got... Um, oh, I guess we, we could have... Uh, let's build back. This wild will stay in your card, and you can use it whenever you want. 
I wasn't sure how that worked. I thought you would have to use it right away. Okay, well, it wouldn't matter because we got an ace anyway, but we can't use an ace. Alright, so we got seven. So let's go seven here, and then we can go eight, seven. I, even though it's not going to release any cards, it's still less cards. That, so that's better. Alright, so again, can I get an ace? So we want to either... We can't... If we take this one, we still have three stuck, so we can't get an extra card. So the best strategy is to go with the ace. Alright, so we got an eight, so we can't do anything there. And the music is pretty cool. Bird sounds. Alright, so we got a five or a three. Apples or oranges, really, so let's go with a three. Alright, um, let's open another card. So four or five, so we'll take that. Alright, seven, eight, that's gonna be this one. Alright, and we got some extra tokens for that one, because there was a hidden token on the card. Alright, so this is gonna be the ace, the king. So the question is, do I release the ace to get the queen, or do I release the queen to get an extra card? I think the strategy for us to be best vice would be to take the queen with the extra cards, because we might be able to play more cards. Hopefully that doesn't come back and bite us, but we do have a wild, so I am thinking it would be okay. So now ace. See, it was 10 anyway. It wasn't what I thought it was. I thought it was a, um, I thought it was a different card underneath. So, all right, jack. Now seven, eight. So you can see we did that with text cards. We got a bunch of tokens. And unfortunately, I thought we would get a wild, but we didn't. So that's a perfect. So we got three stars. We did that in Three minutes and 51 seconds. Combo five coins. Oranges 235. So let's go to the next one. I am the Knight of the Kingdom. I will help defend you. I have the special ability. I can swap a card in the deck for a suitable one. Alright. You can buy upgrade equipment for him at the store. Check it out. Okay. I don't really need to, but I can see, I can see we can buy more things. Have more money, you can buy more items. Okay, so the, that's cool. Look at this. The wild stayed with us. I thought the wild would be gone. So let's go ahead and uh, play this eight. Now let's play the wild and play it as a king. All right. Uh, that didn't help us super, but but it's one less card. Jack. All right, king. This one's a little bit more tricky. The solitary version of a game. That's what. This is kind of like I like these kinds of solitaires because it gives you a bunch of different types of games. Alright, so now the question is, which four? This is where luck comes in the hand. I mean, I don't know what's underneath any of these cards. So, I know I want to get to that Joker. Um, this is only two cards. This is three cards. This is two cards. Uh, let's go with this one. And see, that worked out for us because that was a three. So we can play the three to the two. Alright, so we play the three. Do we play a four or do we play the two? Again, comes down to just luck, but okay, see, we get this one we got a two, so we can't play anything else on that one. So now we got a three. So we go with a four, or do we go with another two? Let's go with the two. I feel like more cards that you can get rid of underneath might be better, I don't know. Three and two, or three and four? Let's go with the four just because we've been playing the fours a lot. Man, they're dropping fours underneath each every four. It's pretty crazy. Jack, okay. 10. And of course, it's all random what cards you're going to get, so. It's one of the reasons I like Solitaire. It's just completely random. Very cool music. I'm liking it. Alright, 9. An 8. Alright, so we can play the 2. Um, I feel like we, if we played the 2, we we're going to get a Joker there. So, what should we do? If we play the two, we can play the ace. Or we can play the three, four. Let's play the three, four. Because the ace is hanging out by himself. He's not He's not hurting anybody. So there's a jack. There's a joker. Alright, so we got a three, six. I don't know what the joker will do yet. I want to hold on to that joker. I don't remember what the joker does. So there's a three and an ace. I feel like the ace is going to be hard to get rid of. So let's get rid of that. Two and three. Alright. Seven and six, so we get rid of that one. Five, look at that, we got rid of it. Bam! Got rid of it. And look, you can see this is the game is at 1.0. Alright, level completed, perfect. Uh, now we can go to the next level. Alright, hang on one second, guys. Randomly opens two cards if you get the twister, and you can see them. In order to use this bonus, you need to collect the card on in which it appears in the deck at the time. Bonuses don't last forever and will disappear eventually. The higher your skill, then the more different kinds of bonuses you will get in your journey. 
So when you use the whirlwind, it will open up two cards that allows you to see them. In order to use this bonus, you'll need to collect a card on which on which it appeared in the deck in time. So I don't know if that means we have to use it right away or not. I'm not Alright, this is a multiplayer bar that starts to fill up after removing six cards in a row from the board. The higher the multiplier, the more money you get from removing the cards from the board. Okay, so this 1.0 there is your multiplier. For completing the level, you get three stars if you complete all the cards from the board. Two if you there's two or fewer. One star if you complete a level with three or four cards on the board. To unlock the next world, you must complete all the levels with at least one star. Okay, we can handle that. Alright, let me check one thing I want to see. Be right with you back in a second, guys. Hang on one second. I'm sorry. I want to check one more thing for you. All right. Right back with you in one more second. There you go. Alright, I apologize for that wait. I wanted to let you know that this is available now. It's available on Steam and you can get it for $10. Um, so you, you know, you can make your decision. So far, it's a, it's a fun game. Um, but if you, I mean, if you like Solitaire, you gotta have to like Solitaire to like this game. So it's a very a niche game, if you will. It's either gonna be a game you like or you don't. And if you like different versions of Solitaire, um, and if you're a Snow White fan or a fair, fairy tale fan, you might like it. So, all right. Um, let's see. Three, four. Um, let's see two. All right. What else can we play with here? All right. Let's see. Um. All right. Let me see. Let me do one thing here, guys. Hey, one second. Sorry, I'm gonna move the camera. There you go. Sorry about that, guys. I'm back. All right. I just want to move the camera a little bit so you can see all the little extra circles. Uh, I think this will be a good spot for it. So, all right, we're back. Um, let's see. We got a nine. We got to see if I use the jack. I can go queen king or queen jack, whichever I prefer. So I think the option is to go again more cards. So queen and then king. Let's see, if we unlock two cards by doing that one. All right. So let's see what else we can get. We can get an eight. So we could do a nine or a seven. Let's do the nine. All right, we get another queen. Okay, uh, let's take a look. Queen. So we're gonna do a jack and a queen. Um, feel like we should do the jack. Then we'll unleash the king. All right, we got it, the tornado. All right. Oh, I see what we're saying. We gotta play the card, and then we'll get it. Okay. Um, let's see, ace. So we can use an ace and a two. So let's just unlock that one. Um. Queen and a jack. Which jack? Again, it's just a random. Six and a five, or six and seven and an eight, and then seven. Let's go with that. Eight and then seven. I believe that's the best strategy. Could be wrong. Um, let's see. An ace, two, three, four, five. That's a pretty good combo right there. If I get a two, oh, okay, I didn't. Um, I could do an ace, king, and then. So I can go ki ace king, but that's not really going to help me any. So what we really want to do is go three, four, five. Okay, now we got see they got more cards for us. Okay, so we can play a two and an ace and a king, and then a queen. Then we get the jack, and then we got three and a six back there. Okay, so that lets us know we need a three and a six. So best strategy is to do that one. Okay, we got three. Jack, Jack, nothing there. Eight. So I wish we could get rid of that, but since we know we can't do anything else, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to get rid of the nine. A nine. A 
the six, so we're gonna get rid of the five. Uh, six, so we'll get rid of the seven. Two, we're getting down to our last cards here, guys. Three, six. Uh, we got an ace, that's good. All right, we got a jack and a six. Can we make it? Seven. And a queen, so we made it. Okay, so there we go. So we made it. We got 180 tokens, so that will be another three perfects. All right. So, and again, it's literally, I picked the right cards. Well, that's kind of cool. It looks like a sword and kind of two shields. That's a pretty cool layout there. All right, so we got a king, so we can lay down the queen. Um, that's about all we can do there. Uh, this is actually really cool, guys. Look at this layout. So we got a three and a four. <laughs> got to kind of turn angles and look at this one. This one's actually really cool. Three. Oh, my. Uh, which four should I go with? Should I stay on the short sword or go with the shield? I think I'm going to go with that one. All right, that's a two. So this will be a five. Uh, six, seven, and eight. We got a nice combo there on that one. All right, so that's all we can do on that. So we're in the combo. All right, so we can do an, a jack. And then we want to do this queen because we'll get another card extra. All right, so we got eight. Nothing we can do there. Queen. Um, nothing we can do with the queen. Oh, what was that? Hang on, what was that trying to tell me? Oh, it was an ace. I didn't realize I had an ace. My bad. Uh, two, three. I thought it said queen. Well, I don't know. Whatever, guys. Four, five, four, five. Four, five, four. Look at this. Four. Five. All right, we're gonna end that combo. That was a pretty good run. There's an eight. All right, there's an ace. So, uh, two. Ace, king, queen. All right. Uh, that's a nine under there. That's a jack under there. Okay. So, card in the, We got 22 cards to go. So we're in pretty good shape. All right, ten. Pretty good shape. Yet I can't find anything. Okay. So I missed that card. That that kind of hurt us. Six, eight, jack. There we go. Now we need a we need a card here. Nine. This could hurt us. Okay. There's the two. We still got a long way to go though. Nine, six, two, seven, three, eight. I'm holding out, hoping I can get it. A six. Eight, Jack, five. All right, what's the Joker do? The Joker will take the card. Okay, that was a good well played because we would have gotten three stars. So I'm happy with playing the Joker there to get the card to be able to take the card away. And that got us to the next part. So we got 12, 12 uh, mini levels done for level one. So now we're on the level two. This level must finish the minimum with one star to unlock it. All right, so now we're gonna go in. Oh my. So that, okay, so I guess that, in order to remove leaves from the cards, you need to place this card in the deck, but the cards will be doubled. Okay. Randomly opens two cards and allows you to see, adds 50 to your treasure. Well, that's nice. All right, this could get kind of tricky, guys. So five. Uh, I see. It's saying you gotta remove the leaves and you gotta play it again. Just, okay, I understand. It's just, a, that was a weird way of wording it. All right, I feel like we should move this one to see what's next is queen before we remove it there. So let's just do that. All right, king, uh, ace, king, queen. See, I can remove this one or remove that one. I think I'm gonna remove one down here. All right, so we're on the sixes. So five, six, seven. That's gonna give us more cards. Five, uh, six, seven. Okay, let's see what else we can do. We got a six. Uh, let's see. We got a four here. We got a queen there. So nothing we can... Oh, I could have used the... I'm gonna go, uh, should I go back? Um, you get one back per level. Um, I'm going to go back because I feel like that would have been an important time to use it. I could be wrong, but... We just got to be really careful, guys. Uh, guys, I'm the one that did it. <laughs> four. Okay, do we want the king? Or do we want... an? I feel like that's what we want. 
So let's see here. Five. So we went to four. We got to four anyway. So another five. That's not gonna help us any. Seven. Ace. We can take down the wild. That's nice. All right. We got another ace. So we can play a two on that. All right. Then we got a six. So let's play on the card underneath. All right. Um, let's see what else we can do. Uh, that's a ten. So we're gonna play it on the four, five, four because it's an extra card. All right. Nothing else we can do there. Nine. Oh, we could play. Mm. See, I messed up. We could play that ten. That probably would have been important, but it's probably gonna hurt us. It's probably it was an important move in this game. King, ace, seven, or nine. Let's take that one because that gives us the tokens. Ah, I messed it up again. All right, this time I'm not messing it up. <laughs> All right, uh, king, ace, two. I'm gonna use the wild. Three. Nice. Okay. I felt like that was an important time to use it because I didn't think we were gonna win if I didn't use it. So, uh, we need some cards here, guys. Come on. Give me the cards. Queen, that's not helpful. Jack. Seven, sevens and sevens. Jack. And three. Okay. We're going to win. We got fine. We got one star. So we did win. So, all right. Let's look at the map. All right. So you guys can kind of get an idea of what this is like. It's basically, like I said, solitaire. It's Snow White. So the music is great. Scenery is pretty. It's nice. Uh, yes, I did say pretty. The scenery is pretty good. Um, that's what I meant to say. It's pretty good. There's a bird flying, so that's kind of cool. Um, and, it's, you know, it's just a little simple solitaire, but, you know, it had a nice little design with the cards. I've seen some solitaires where their their cards are detailed, but they don't really have any design. So I feel like this does have a lot of potential to go further. Um, you know, I don't think we can... Oh, yeah, we can't look how far this goes into the map. So it goes pretty far. Um, and then, of course, you can buy things at the shop and everything else. So I, 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 you know, I'm happy with this game. I'm entertained. Um, I will continue. I will play this game again. Um, put in the comments, like and share if you'd like to see this continued on. Uh, Add into the channel somewhere so you can see me progress in this game. Uh, so, like I said, comments do help. And go ahead and put those likes in. What you think about the game, or the comments about what you think about the game. If you want to see me progress further, put those comments in there because um, that will let me know if you guys want me to see this recorded. But like I said, I will probably play this some more. Um, I'm, but I'm a big solitaire fan, so um, would I buy it for ten? I'm not sure. I'd probably wait for a, st a sale. Um, it just came out, so obviously it didn't hit the winter sale. Um, I'd probably be okay with. Uh, I don't, I I, I want to see how far the where further the game progresses. So uh, I I'd say you have to use your own judgment on the much you want to play and obviously I've only played it for a half an hour as you can see but in half an hour I got to beat the first level and I got one level into the second level so all right guys uh, don't forget to take that survey it's down below in the description that will let you enter into the steam game in January um, someone is going to win a free steam game of of my selections that I have and you get to choose one at random of one that you like and we'll be doing another contest again next month if after the winter so Fill out that survey. You can all, if you don't win this month, you'll, you'll be entered in the next one. So the more surveys we get, the great because the surveys help me to know where you guys, what you guys like to see, and where you like to see the channel progress. Um, donations really help. Thumbs up, comment, and if you're not subscribed, please do so. Hit that notification button to let, to let you know when I drop new videos. Thank you so much for playing. Um, go out and have an adventure of your own, and thank you so much for stopping on by. I'm watching Snow White Solitaire Charm Kingdom game testing. Take care. Bye, guys.